Hey guys and welcome to another video. Um, I want to do a video on the uh, microphone uh, boom arms and I've got a few uh, here that I've been using over uh, the past few years. Now I've made plenty of mistakes and hopefully this video will help you decide what arm uh, boom arm to go for and avoid the mistakes uh, that I made. Now, um, I'm going to start from right to left here and we'll go through them. We'll talk about them in, uh, you know, the details, the mistakes to avoid. And uh, hopefully um, it'll help you make up your mind. So I've got a generic two arms here. These are cheap ones. And then I've got the Ulanzi arms, which costs anywhere from uh, 35 to 50 dollars. And then we've got a premium one. This is the one that I'm currently using from uh, a company called Sensic. Um, so a few things you want to consider. Now, number one, when you're buying a boom arm, you really want to consider the length of the arm. So you want to make sure that if it's mounted on one side of your desk, it's going to reach all the way to um, to you now this could be especially important if um, you're mounting it either on the side or on the back uh, the mistakes I've made with these two here is that they are too short meaning if they are mounted on the back or on the very edge of my desk here they don't reach all the way to uh, to my mouth obviously so even with the uh, mic extension arm they don't necessarily reach this is definitely something you want to avoid because as you can see here they all come in different lengths uh, and these two right here are completely uh, out of the question uh, if you the only way you can have them uh, somewhat usable is if you mount them close to you which will end up uh, basically it'll end up getting in the way uh, of uh, basically just it, it becomes a hazard because it's it's blocking your your workspace and it's it's really not that practical um, besides the length another thing you want to be looking for is the build quality uh, and why is that important because some of the mics uh, on average, I would say, if you're using a dynamic microphone, it can weigh uh, somewhere between 800, I would say 600 to about uh, 1,000 grams or 1 kg. So if you're using a cheap genetic arm, it tends to uh, loosen up a bit with use. It may be sturdy at first, but um, over a prolonged period of time, they tend to loosen up uh, uh, and you know they tend to move around and whatnot so that's definitely something uh, to consider uh, um, as you can see this one here is completely deteriorated uh, although I have not used it uh, heavily it's just it's just broken everywhere uh, not to mention of course the their the sharp edges and uh, you know, the, the, the just it doesn't look good. I mean, it's just you can see it for yourself. Not sure if you can see it here. It's it just doesn't look good at all. This one here, generic car, but it's built a little bit better. But the problem with it, which is the third uh, issue that I want to speak of, is the flexibility, right? So let's assume it can reach uh, your desired height. The, the other problem you have is you you cannot basically, because this is a condenser microphone and it has to be facing you or it has to be positioned in a certain way. So at this position, it's, it's not optimal. So in order for you to use this one here, what you want to do is you want to mount it at the back of your desk, somewhere there maybe or behind the monitor. But now the problem becomes is that it won't reach, right? 
so uh, it's again definitely not optimal it's um, although it's sturdier somewhat sturdier because this one here actually um, as you can see the, the clamp is bowing a little bit not sure if you can see it from this angle but it's it just because of the clamping force this part here is actually although it's made out of metal this part here is bowing a little bit um, the third or fourth thing if I'm counting and another problem or another issue or another factor to consider when buying a boom arm is the cable management now this one right here has zero cable management there's no cable management in mind whatsoever the next one here and by the way I'll put the prices all up in the screen so that you know what I'm talking about um, this one here is uh, has somewhat you know some somewhat cable management in mind um, it has some sort of a groove here and they come with some plastic clips um, but they fall out don't they fall out really easy so what I ended up doing is I used some tape to secure them in place so uh, the Uline Z ones do have a much better uh, solution so that they have a groove built in to the arm so you see here there's a groove for the arm for the for the XLR cable or for the cable in general uh, and it's it's big enough to actually house even the thicker uh, XLR cable uh, compared to a normal USB wire so uh, they do have and they come with these clips right here I just stack them together but you can actually place them all around the the arm to uh, to cable or to hold the cable together so uh, I'll leave this one because this one obviously is my favorite I'll leave it till the end um, this is the one I'm using on daily basis uh, now the next or the fifth thing you want to consider when buying the arm is the flexibility of the head so you can see here the head is really not flexible at all I mean you have no option to uh, to turn it around this one and this is why these two here from Yulanzi they somewhat have that in mind but it's not optimal meaning the head here does move in a up and down uh, angle so what I ended up doing is I bought a ball head so that whenever I'm using the microphone I can point in the direction I want the only problem is the some of the ball heads I've tried they don't hold quite well because of the weight of the microphone now last but not least is this one here from Sensic uh, this is absolutely my favorite so what I'll do is I'll remove all of these so that you can actually see what it looks like uh, before I do that I just want to talk about the build quality this thing is I mean it's uh, I'm pretty impressed this thing cost 66 euros I'll place the price in dollars somewhere here in the screen 66 euros and it's I mean the build quality is absolutely amazing uh, talk about everything from the clamp to the to the riser the cable management is excellent you have got this clever little slider that you can push and then it hides so you tuck in your cable there and then you've got a slider here uh, you got a magnetic cover here let's say if you want to have your arm fixed on a fixed location or fixed position you can uh, you can actually uh, do that by tightening the the screws here and then you got another cable management here uh, they do come with stickers I'm gonna remove them they do come with stickers letting you know because it's the the design is just absolutely fantastic that it just you know you might not even think or know that um, that it has a cable management solution here so they have to point you in that direction 
And then why this is the best is because of the head. As you can see here, um, there's a ball head built right into the arm. So this is where the this is where the microphone starts from this part. This is all or this comes with the arm. So let's say if I want to place the microphone a little bit further away, but I want it, I want this part here to be facing me. All I, I can just, you know, unscrew or untighten this and then I can position it. So although the arm is actually positioned there here, it, you know, it could still have an optimal angle for, for the position of the microphone because of this ball head and this is not something i think even in the most expensive um, arms or boom arms they don't necessarily have this feature the other thing i absolutely love about this is the length of this thing i mean look at this my desk is about 58 inches from end to end this thing can almost reach the end of my desk obviously it's blocked but as you can see here it's blocked by this let me just remove these out of the way yeah now that it's completely out i've removed them uh, as i was saying you can see even though it's on the edge of my desk it can still reach all the way to the other side of my desk which is pretty amazing all right um so, if, and if I want it, I can mount it in the back, anywhere in the back, and it will just reach just as fine, right? And when I'm done with it, this is what I like also, is the mic stays in a fixed position. So let's say if I'm moving, if I'm moving it this way, the mic stays in that same angle. So uh very very impressed with the quality i've been using it for almost a week now and i'm absolutely loving it there is one issue however is that because of this the mechanic or the mechanic of the arm the way it works so just so that it would maintain this part here uh, at a consistent level it's it's something that um that a lot of monitor arms like this suffers from which is the if you're mounting it in the back let me show you now this is when it's fully folded now you have this part here protruding or sticking out so this uh if you if you have like myself if you have the wall behind you this might be an issue so uh, this is something for you to consider but if you're mounting it like i am somewhere on the edge or the front edge or side edge of your desk it should not be a problem yeah so uh, this is what it looks like folded and then this is what it looks like unfolded it's pretty cool uh, I'm very happy with the length. Um, this was something that's really important for me. Um, I'm sick and tired of small uh, arms, um, you know, that don't necessarily reach. And the other thing is, if and why you need length is because a lot of the times when you're recording or using the microphone, you want to be able to use your keyboard and mouse, and you cannot do that if you're using a small arm because it starts getting in the way in you know between you and your keyboard not only that but it blocks your view from your screen if you don't have a um if you don't have an a lengthy or a good length arm because what tends to happen is this will be in your view so you'll be speaking to the microphone in this direction and then you know part of your screen is blocked because the arm is in the way so what's nice about this is that you're able to adjust the arm As you can see this is almost the phone is on my almost eye level so i can speak to the microphone and i can 
watch or I can, you know, work on my monitor and I can still reach my mouse and keyboard at the same time. So, uh, so yeah, so this is the boom arm in from Sensic. I will link it into in, in the description. Um, if you have any questions or you'd like to know anything about it, please let me know. I want to say as a disclaimer that Sensic did send this arm, uh, but this is not a paid review. They did not pay me to, uh, uh, and I paid for the shipping myself. So they did not, uh, it's not a paid review. I hope you liked it and I hope it will help you make a better buying uh, decision. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.